<clears throat> Hello, this is Rob from Rims Models. This is my final reveal of the Mini Arts US Bulldozer. Uh, just before we start, a big thank you to all my subscribers and all your comments. It's really kind. Uh, but it's finally finished and it's it's gone it's gone really well. There's been no problems at all with the fit. The fit's been brilliant. The track the tracks. I had trouble with the first side, but when I done the second side, I, I, it was a lot better. So they, they turned out all right. The tracks, I was quite pleased how they turned out. But basically, it's totally finished now. Um, all weathered. I've I've, I've actually put um, a, a matte coat on it because I've used a lot of pigments. I've put I've just put a matte coat on it as well. I'll show you, I'll show you what I've used. But basically. That's 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 it finished. I'll just zoom it in so you can see a bit closer. Uh, I've done a lot, a lot of weathering on the engine as well. Just try and make it look. I didn't want to go too over weathered and too rusty. I just you know it's it, it, you know it is it is heavily used, so there is a bit of, a bit of rust on it and that. But basically, I'm I'm really chuffed how it's come out. I'm going to stop this and I'll show you. Let's just turn it around so you can see. I'll show you what I've used. So, basically, from my last update, where I showed you the rust, I put, I went, every, all of it was primed in this brown oxide primer. So, I just totally covered the lot in that. And then, like I said, I then did the free the free rusts, there light rust, medium rust, and dark rust. There, and I think I mixed a bit of the old rust in it as well. And then um, I did the chipping. Then I sprayed the chipping over the top, which was that AK worn effects. So I went over the top with that. Then the yellow was that flat yellow XF3 so I've just done that and I've done the chipping just like hairspray well, instead of using hairspray I use the, the AK chipping fluids and um, I'm, I'm pleased how that works as well that really come out well the only bits I didn't do was these here these top bits here and these little side bits because I think because they're only very very thin I thought if I Done it like rubbed too hard, they might have snapped, so I've just done them with the sponge there, and then I'll turn it around so you can see the blade was sprayed with that Vallejo crown. There's the number there, so you can see I sprayed it with that, and then what I've done then, I don't know if you can see it, I've done the I've done some yellow there, I've chipped, it, chipped the yellow around the sides and on the top as well. Like that, just to give that a bit of a wear. And, it, and then we'll turn it round again as well. It's all, the, it's all the, the same. That there, the blue there, is that XF18. That can there uh, is that khaki XF forty nine, and then the white one's just plain XF two white, and uh, all these all these here are in is uh, the, are in the instructions to tell you what colour to use. The tracks I sprayed the crown as well. I sprayed that colour to give them like a a worn look. See if I can show you. The light you can't really tell on this light. There look as you can see. So that they turned out well as well. Now the black's just standard there, which is me gamma, the the colour's rubbed out. Well it's just it's just um black, normal black. 
that the seat is. And all these bits on the levers and that are yellow as um black as well. There you can't make it out, but that's white. Now the the exhaust, I've used my rust effect colours and I've just done different colours as well for the the rust. So I don't know if you can see that. I'll show you the other side when it comes round. And then I've done some black pigment on the top just to make it look a bit sooty. Now the the weathering, these here, these here, I've done, what I've done, I've got these three pigments. And the three of them are my gamma. Uh, it was dark earth, that's the number there. And this one, North African dust. That's 300 that it, I think that's, free, no sorry, 3002, that's that one, and then this one, 3004, European earth, and what I've done, I mixed them all in the pot dry, mixed it in a pot, mixed the, the colours together, and then I just added some normal tap water to it, and then mixed it in there, mixed it all together, I made like a, a wash and I just went over all the tracks with it all this, all these the, all these are pigments here all these bits here all over the tracks I've done inside there I'll turn it around so you can get a better picture of it there that's all pigments as well there look and inside, I've done it on the floor inside there look that's all done as well. I've done some on the seat. It's a little bit shiny because I've it hasn't been I haven't clear coated it not that long ago. It's just dry enough to do the update. But, um, so then my three pigments are used. Now the exhaust there. See if we can zoom in. There look. And then when that when it had dried, I've just done a couple of coats of these. Yeah, well I have rust washes. I've got dark rust and rust. So I went over um I went over the exhaust with that. There. Also these in here. The light's not very good. Oops, sorry about the noise. There look. That's all done as well. That's all chipped with that rust effects. And then over the top then rust washes. This black stuff here try to make it look a bit old and oil is um Aptung, uh Starship Filth there which I mixed my old faithful we got my old list thinner yeah uh, I love that stuff no problems at all I also have done with the rust oil brusher Rust effects, I've done some streaking rust as well around here and there around the tank. The the bulldozer, sorry. And then as a, as my last update, them two there, ochre and dark brown, was a, a filter. I've done the dark brown first and then the ochre over the top. So them are, that's the weathering. I've done enough no there's no other stuff I've used. And then this, I've just, sorry I'm not in, I'm in the shot here, this is just normal cotton, which I've used to do like the rigging stuff, there, and it's also on the back as well, there look, I've done it all underneath as well, the worn, the, with the pigments, but what, when you put the pigments on, all you got to do is leave it to dry and then you can brush it off you can leave on as much as you want then because it's only mixed with water it won't go hard and brush it off and then when I finished I just went over with the with the clear coat but it's turned out really well I'm, I'm really chuffed how it come out and um, I think that's everything and I tried to, I didn't want the engine to heavily weathered well it, 
it's it's well used but it's not really over weathered and then uh, so yeah that's it thank you for looking uh, please stay safe and please don't forget to like and subscribe